Okay, so let's talk Disney princesses. Um, so um, I, like a lot of other people, read this too fast when I first saw it, and I thought it said Halle Berry. And I honestly thought it was, um, you know, the white supremacist media uh, getting our names wrong again. You know how they do. You know, James Brown would have been the one to pass away, and they'll be like, you know, Chuck Berry died today. And you'd be like, um, nigga, that's the wrong black dude. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what I thought it was. But anyway, it really was Halle Bailey. And um, she is the second part in that group that um, signed to Beyonce, the cute girls with the locks and stuff. Gosh, they're so adorable. Um, they're so pretty. So anyway, here's my thing. When I saw this, I didn't jump for joy like everybody else. My initial thought was, who's going to be the prince? Okay, I asked this question because for years now, I have noticed a concentrated effort to show black women with white men in the media. I noticed this years and years and years ago. I can tell you with the network I first saw it on. I first saw it, I first noticed it on OWN. And by seeing them in the media, I mean commercials with a black mother, a white father, and the mixed children. I saw this commercial repeated, this formula repeated in various commercials on own. Don't you think that's an interesting demographic? See, I, I have an adver uh, advertising background and I know that they put certain ads for certain demographics and it seemed like that ad they were trying to reach the demographic of own. Okay, now I have my own theories about this. I think that this is in direct correlation with the fact that black women are the um, rising highly educated uh, 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 sector of society. Um, the, 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 the majority of college graduates are black women. So I believe that it, that is a concerted effort to remove whatever wealth that may bring from the black community. Just as back in the day, the focus was black men, especially those in sports. Because they were trying to remove that money and separated from the community. Now you can love whoever hell you wanna love, you do whatever you wanna do, I'm not gonna talk about you and I'm not gonna tell you what you should and should not do because people do whatever the fuck they wanna do. I'm just saying I noticed this shit a long time ago and I, think, I look at this Disney princess, this, this mermaid thing and I'm going to ask who is gonna be the prince? Who? Once I see the prince, then I'll make a decision on whether it's time to celebrate or not. Um, she's still cute as a button. But like I said, I'm watching, I'm waiting. I wanna see what's gonna happen. So I was all done with this topic, right? And then um, I was listening to Lovely T talk about the topic, right? And she played like this, just this little clip of Little Mermaid singing um, I want to be part of your world, right? And then it's like my synapses just started firing, okay? Busting. You ready for this 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 awakening? Um, I just had a revelation. I swear, like in my, my skin is single. Anyway, Little Mermaid is the story of a young girl who lives in one place with her people who desperately is trying to be something else. She does not want to be who she is she wants to be like this man she loved this man she ain't never met so much even though he kills her people she loves this man so much she is willing to put her whole like community on the line so she could get next to him she sells her voice to get next to this man and this is the character that they changed to black. Think about it. The whole movie, she was trying to adapt. Even when she finally got legs, she was wobbly. She couldn't, she was trying to adapt to a world that was completely foreign. <laughs> it's so clear. We have to wait for these celebrations. A lot of times when it seems nearly Fuller talks about all the time that the white supremacists are on every side of every argument. We can't be so quick to take everything from people. You know, it's like there, there's, a, there's a story and I don't remember where this story, it could be an African story. I don't remember who I heard this story from, but there's a wolf and, and he is trying to like eat something and they, they set a trap for the wolf where they put a, a um, um, some meat on a sword so now when the the wolf licks the sword he cut his own tongue so he thinks that he's eating this meal when in actuality he's bleeding to death 
And that's what happens a lot of times when the white supremacists give us stuff. It looks like it is the best thing since sliced bread, but in actuality, it is killing us.